What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix the Call of Duty Warzone uh, voice chat not working. Now, if you've been playing Call of Duty Warzone and uh, basically uh, you haven't got any sort of voice chat capabilities or you can hear them and they can't hear you or it's on some of a cross platform setup where you can hear people on PC, but you can't hear people on, uh, say, for instance, PlayStation or Xbox, then I'll show you how to uh, work this one out and fix it. So what we're going to do is open up the actual game itself and let the game fire up. Now, once you get into here, we're going to take a look at some of the settings first to look at before you start even uh, having a look on your PC. So let this uh, just populate and open up, and then we'll take a look at the audio settings there. So here we are. So we're at the uh, game itself. So once you're inside here, what you want to do is that we want to go into the options down on the bottom left hand corner here. So click on the options and inside here we're going to go to audio. Now inside here we want to come down and make sure voice chat is enabled here. You should see a little drop down arrow which gives you some options here, but make sure that is enabled. And you can see there's a bunch of other options here. So we're going to leave enabled on. Uh, push to talk is OK. Um, that's what I'm using and using the V button to talk. And of course, what we want to do here is check the chat volume. Make sure this is not too high. If this is up really, really high, it can cause problems and stop it from working. And make sure your microphone is not above 100% here. Don't go too high, like 200% or anything like that, because it can stop the microphone from working properly. So sort of play around with that and get it sort of around about 100% each, around about that sort of area. You can go up to like 110, 111, something like that, but you don't want to go too high because it will start to clip and it will stop it working properly. Once you've done that, go up to the Accounts tab up the top and you should see Crossplay. Uh, once you see Crossplay here, make sure this is enabled. If this is not enabled, then you won't be able to hear or talk to people on the other platforms. So if you're on a PC and they're using, say, for instance, Xbox or something like that, you won't be able to hear them. Uh, uh, and you won't be able to talk to them. So you need to have that part enabled. That's important. So let's go on to our desktop here and go down to the bottom right where it says the speaker icon and click on open sound settings. Inside here, you should see your output. Make sure your headphones are selected here. These need to be your speakers and your headphones for your what you're using. So you can see I've got the Turtle Beach Elite Atlas Aero. Uh, don't buy these headphones. They're not that great, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, go into there and uh, hit the uh, sound control panel. Hit this one up. And once you're inside here, you should see a little sound box popping up here. Now inside here on the playback, you want to make sure if you're using headphones like these, the speakers are the uh, device, default device, okay? So that needs to be the default device. And that's fine, you will hear a lot of people uh, talking and stuff like that if you've got this set up as it is, but do not set this as default communication device otherwise you'll run into problems. Now down the bottom, you'll see another area that says headset chat. This is for Turtle Beach headphones and it's virtual audio device. Make sure this is your default communication device. If this is not set the way this is, you will not be able to um, speak uh, to those people or sometimes you won't be able to hear them. So just be very careful which way you set this up. So default device and default communication device, that's how they need to be set up there. Go into the properties of that uh, chat headset bit there, which is your virtual chat. Make sure that is turned up to 100% and uh, make sure that you haven't got this little red circle with a line through it here, which means it's muted. That's important because sometimes that does happen and you can check the balance and make sure they're both up to maximum 100% here. Once you've checked that area, just gonna quickly go over to another area here on the uh, sound. We're gonna go up to speakers here and go into properties for that as well. So inside here, we're just going to quickly check all the settings inside here. Go to levels. Inside here, we will see speakers at 100%. That's perfect. Make sure that little red circle isn't around it with the line. Otherwise, you won't be able to hear anything. Enhancements, you can disable all enhancements if you're running into issues. Sometimes disabling this 
does resolve a lot of problems. I'm going to leave that as it, as is because I'm not having issues with that. And uh, I'm going to leave this frequency and stuff as is there. I'm going to quickly just check in the advanced area here. Everything's OK there. So come out and push cancel. And we're done inside there now. I just want to go to recording and go to the microphone area and just make sure we've got the microphone set in correct inside here. So go into there and then we can go down to properties. And again, we're just going to check the levels to make sure everything is OK here. So it's OK. And we're going to go to levels and make sure that's 100 percent. And make sure that's not muted as well. You can see there. And that's that. So we've got that OK. So now everything is OK here. So next up, we're going to go back down to where the speaker icon is. And I want to show you just to make sure we have the settings correct down here. So go here and where it says speakers, you should see your headphones here. And then we're going to open up the volume mixer. So open volume mixer here and make sure these are all the way up. So you want to make sure you're getting 100 percent on there. Make sure there isn't any sort of a muting done on that particular type of setting. So let me just open up the game here and you'll see the game populate once we turn the game on. So let me just uh, do this and we should see the game suddenly appear. You might need to toggle out of this alt tab out. So let the game boot up and we'll go back into the volume mixer settings. So I've alt tabbed out now so I'm going to go back inside there and there we can see the Call of Duty is pretty low there. So I'm just going to bump this up because I was getting low audio. I couldn't hear people. So just make sure we've got this all, all the way up here. And make sure that you haven't got any sort of red circle with the red line for it because that means it's muted. So we just bump this up and just bump this up like so. And just make sure that the red circle with a line through it is not on so that means it's muted make sure that's not set sometimes that can catch you out and uh, that's all muted there like so this is for your audio as well so make sure they're okay so let's just quickly check our privacy settings on windows 10 so i'm going to go to start settings and make sure all the audio is set for your headphones and go into privacy here and we're going to make sure by going down to microphone that we've got to allow our microphone to go through here. So you can see, allow desktop apps to access your microphone. And inside here, you can see this is on and we've got Call of Duty, uh, Modern War Zone, and that's what you need to make sure. If that's not there, then obviously you're not gonna be able to talk or have any audio in game. And that can obviously catch you out as well. So make sure that setting's there. Now, another key point here, if you're doing cross play platform gameplay here, you wanna make sure go to options and you can do this when you're in the actual lobby waiting with all your teammates here. You will hear them talking. If you can't hear them or you, you can hear them but they can't hear you, uh, then you're going to have a problem. So what you need to do here is when you're in game like this or you're in the lobby, down the lobby it will be down the bottom here. But up the top, what we're going to do here is go to scoreboard. And when you're in scoreboard here, you should see there's an area down the bottom here saying mute all. Just make sure that's not on because if that's on, you won't be able to hear people and you won't be able to speak to them. They won't hear you. So just make sure you haven't muted everyone. OK, and uh, you should be able to hear them and make sure you've got that crossplay enabled and you should be fine and you should be able to talk to people inside the game. So that's going to be about it. One more thing I just want to make sure is you check device manager here to make sure that all the drivers are working correctly that they haven't got any yellow exclamation marks or any sort of missing drivers for your audio or headset or something like that if that is the case and they are showing up here with a little uh, yellow triangle with a, a little exclamation mark in it then you, that means the driver is corrupted and you need to reinstall it so that's basically there so just check to make sure that is okay other than that you should be okay once you've checked all those settings you should have the audio up and running and you should be able to hear everyone in the game and you should be able to talk to people in that game. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. wanted to make this quick video because there was no information on it which covered the whole 
process and I wanted to do that to help you guys out so you could uh, get audio uh, voice chat working. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.